For three years, I was the legal director at Women Helping Battered Women, going to, going to the police station with women in the middle of the night to get a relief from abuse order, or sitting between them and their abuser in court. For the last three years, I've been a community advocate in the Weinberger administration, and it's been an incredible experience to create pathways and create opportunities for people who are often unheard in local government to be heard and to have a voice and to have opportunity. It's meant a great deal to me. What have I been doing in the legislature? Um, I have spent three years on the General Housing and Military Affairs Committee, three years on Ways and Means, figuring out how we're going to balance the budget, and I'm poised this year to join Representative Tony Klein and be the Vice Chair of the Natural Resources and Energy Committee. I've worked specifically on economic issues that I feel get results for Vermonters, like first-time homebuyer tax credits, so we can create tax incentives for 300 new families to be able to afford a home and their closing costs in Vermont. I Thank you, thank you. I've worked on civil rights issues like state tribal recognition and driver's licenses for immigrants so that they can enjoy our downtowns and meet other people and have real opportunity to get off a farm and into our communities. And I have brought my work as a, a domestic violence social worker into uh, the legislature in my work to protect elders from abuse, in my work to make Vermont one of the last border states to have comprehensive human trafficking legislation, and most recently to work with a group of particularly women who have explicit images posted of themselves in what's called revenge porn, and to work on making sure their voices are heard without their privacy being violated. And as I travel around the state now, I hear a lot of the same stories that other speakers have mentioned and that you hear yourselves. And really what's poignant for me is that we're a state that's so poised to grow that many Vermonters, small business owners, want to grow and they just want to know what regulations they're facing and how they're going to make sure that they can pay their workers and do the right thing. And I talk to families who say, you know, we know there's jobs out there. We feel unemployed or underemployed, but we're going to go take that job. But if we do, we need to know that we can do that and not lose our childcare subsidy and be worse off than when we started. And really, the bottom line for me, when I think about the young people who want to stay in their state, and the families that want to grow, and the small businesses that want to grow, is that we cannot continue to ask Vermonters to pay a Vermont premium on their cost of living while they take a Vermont discount on their wages. And that's why I stand before you here today to ask for your support to be Vermont's next Lieutenant Governor. I hope to advance an opportunity agenda that includes access to early childhood education, access to higher education, not just affordable housing, but affordable home ownership, and access to, for everyone in the state to broadband so that everyone has the same opportunity, whether it's a startup business or online er learning opportunities or re refilling their prescriptions to take advantage of all of the economic opportunity that's awaiting them. So that is my agenda. I won't go into it too deeply because all of you have been very patient tonight. But I do just want to end by saying, as I mentioned in the beginning, I challenged incumbents. I was the first Democrat in my district to win a House seat in 20 years. And that's in Burlington, and I know that's hard to believe. But what that taught me was that really early on, I had to stand up for what it meant to be a Democrat. And I think that's really important because one of the first things that I was able to say is, hey, this is a party that welcomed me the, to the table, that wants to hear my voice as a young woman, as a person of color. And that has been the Democratic Party that I have known ever since. And we are the party that's listening to the people outside of the room, that's bringing their voices to the table, that's not forgetting who we serve. And that is the ethic that I will bring to you as the next Lieutenant Governor. Thank you so much. I hope to have your support. Thank you. Thank you.